in the most simple definition of what criticality is, is to put things into question, the, abil the ability to put things into question. I did my PhD about the Feldenkrais method in a choreographic content. So I had to look at what's the wider and bigger perspective, perhaps from my point of view of the work. And I came across two things. I came across um, Theodor Adorno's writings on, on critical pedagogy, on pedagogy after Auschwitz, and he called it a pedagogy towards maturity. And of course, maturity is also very much at the heart of the Feldenkrais method. And he writes about um, deconstructing the hardness in people, becoming soft people, um, becoming people who can feel, becoming people who, who, who develop that that has to be at the heart of um, a, a, a new pedagogy and a, a criticality. And then I was, I was looking at the definition of, of Moshe Feldman's crisis um, def, idea of maturity. And for Feldenkrais, the, the idea of maturity is the ability of a person to see a bigger pattern, to take it apart, to be critical, to rearrange it to their own needs. So to put, to put the given apart and to, to, to put into question what is given is at the heart of the definition of maturity, to be able to be non-conformist. He even talks about himself as, um, you know, I was, I refused to be wired in like everyone else. Um, the second thing that's really important in these practices, there are somatic practices, which I would call, they are practices of naturalism, where we're just trying to imitate nature and we're trying to pretend to find true nature. And that's certainly not the case in the Feldenkrais method. We are methods of realism. We are methods of, of that take the bigger context into account, that acknowledge natural principles, but understand that we are cultured. Feldenkrais method, comes out of a whole trajectory of practices that he, that he also studied, which were called body cultures. He worked with people in Israel for many years who ran an institute towards, for body culture and body cultures. So they looked at embodiment and bodies as a socially formed, constructed place of being and, and with a possibility of reconstructing and, and, and reorganizing ourselves and doing and undoing. He felt that Christ talks about in the interview with, with um, Aharon Katsir with these practices being practices of unconditioning, the need for unconditioning before we can then recondition ourselves again. And the need to, to, to uncondition the conditioned person. So there is, a, 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 there is in my opinion, already a, an anti-authoritarian and anti-totalitarian approach embedded in the method. <laughs>